jacket. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I would look so dumb in a jacket like that, but it looks great on you. Hey, man, I'm looking like sexy Jiffy Pop. This is amazing, <laughs> man. How are you know. doing? How's everything? I'm good, man. I, I feel I have mixed feelings about something, and I want to confess it to you, because I know... I, I'm sure people do this all the time, and I don't want to be one of those people, but your impressions are so great that I want, I would like you to do them. Yeah. So, is, it all, is, that, is that one of those things that you're like, uh... You know, Jimmy, for you, anything. I've been a fan since the man show. Oh, that's well, nice of you. Thank you. You, you well, got I me my first, my first peep of, of jugs on trampolines, <laughs> girls on trampolines. And I was like, most people are like, yo, I want to be an astronaut. Yo, I want to be a lawyer. I was like, yo, I want to be on the man show. <laughs> well, this, so, uh, this is pretty close. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll, have a, we'll drink a beer fast afterwards. <laughs> but um, you, what is the most obscure impression that you do? I think John Mulaney is my <laughs> obscure one. If I'm John Mulaney, I'm on Jimmy Kimmel, and I'm loving it. It's amazing. <laughs> I do that one. That's good. Freaking, um... You know what? I, I do this one, but I never talk about it. I do Jason Statham, and I say, I'm the transporter, and what I will do, I'll punch you in the face and have sex with me girl right on top of your corpse. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. <laughs> I've, I've never done that ever, ever. Does, uh, so he doesn't know you do that. He doesn't you know. You should never ever do that with him around, probably. No, no he he he'd kick my butt. You know, I don't think be worse. <laughs> he doesn't seem like he's got a great sense of humor just in general. No, he looks. He seems like he laughs like this. <laughs> <laughs> when you're developing character and imitation, like Definitely. President Obama, for instance, is that mm -hmm. hard? Is that one of the harder ones to do because we are so familiar with his speech patterns? Well, voice? the thing about President Obama is, for me, it kind of evolved because at first I was, like, real nasally with it. Like, I, I, I am President Obama. And then, you know, that wasn't good. People were like, he doesn't sound like him. And then with the SNL, talked to Steve Higgins, and he said, talk from the back of your throat, pause. And what I did was I just started doing that. I was just like, I, well, uh, if I talk, uh, from the back of my throat, and then, all of a sudden, I sound like Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you really do. Uh, you know what? Uh, you want me to come back, but, uh, I'm not. <laughs> uh, you asked for this, bitch. You asked for it. Yeah. <laughs> and he liked that. He liked your impression. Oh, yeah, right? man. I was just, you know, when I did it in front of him, I just didn't want to mess up because I didn't want him to, like, say something to the Secret Service and pop my head off. Yeah, no, you don't want that. You need your head. It's yeah. important, especially yeah. in this career. Yeah, man. You, do you, have you run into people or have you heard about people who do not like your Shannon impression? Shannon Sharp hates my impression of him. Really? He does not like it. The he football player Shannon Sharp. The That's a great one to do I, just to start I, with. I know in the first time. Jimmy, I did it. He tweeted on Twitter. He was like, do I build it down like that? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I tweeted back at him. I was like, uh, did you do? <laughs> so, like, he doesn't like it, but I, you know, it's flattery, man. I like Shannon Sharp, man. He's, you know... Yeah, well, you kind of like have to, in cool. a way... Yeah. Like, almost like fall in love with a person's voice a little bit you to have, have it to. that much in you, your head and your psyche. You right? have to like them a lot. This it's movie fun. that you're doing sounds very interesting. Steven Soderbergh, for those who don't know, he's an Oscar-winning director. He's, yeah. And he, but he's directed this, this movie entirely on an iPhone. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know. I can't confirm nor deny it's on oh. an iPhone. I just can tell you that it won't shot on the Samsung Note. You know, <laughs> it wasn't. You no. Know, yeah. You know what I mean, you don't want that to happen. You know, somebody <laughs> trying to shoot him. And just blow How, up and this face. is not a comedy, and it's a. No. It's kind of a thriller, right? He, yes, it is a thriller. It is a thriller. It's a psychological thriller. He hit me up, and he said, um, he said, I've seen your work, and he says, I know you have a dramatic side, and I want to, I want to use that in this film. And I was like, Well, you're Steven Soderbergh. Is you know, of course I'll say yes. Yeah, right. You know what I mean, Ain't that's like so interesting that yeah. you, know, you see in your work primarily is comedy. He yeah. probably hadn't seen any of your dramatic work, correct? No, let me tell you how he saw me. Though the first time he saw me was uh, my video I did, Will Smith versus Denzel. I don't know if oh, y'all really? ever seen that, but oh know. yeah, yeah, some of y'all seen it. Okay, so. <laughs> He said Matt Damon was on the set with him, uh, and he showed him this, this interview. It was going oh, so oh, well. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I forgot that y'all got all right. Beef it's with each okay. Other. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's, He's I, back there. He's, I, be all I'm right. your friend. <laughs> but anyway, so, go ahead. So okay, so he shows him the video, and you know he goes, "Wow, that's that's dope." And then um, he just <laughs> he was like, "Yo, I want to work with this kid somehow." And 
there we go. Wow. And then yes. he actually thought about you yeah. for this particular part. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll let y'all down. See, I should have done Denzel there. People were like, yo, Yo, do man. Denzel. Yeah, do yeah, a little okay. bit. Yeah, All people right. want it. Yeah, let's do I'm not a jukebox, Kimmel. <laughs> um, yeah, close it out with something yeah, okay. great. Here uh, we go. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know what, Jimmy? When I get on this show and I start talking, <laughs> you know, when everybody's listening, you know, I really like it because the ladies, they look at me and they say, damn, that man's sexy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 that's good. That's good stuff. Oh, you have the the whole thing is important. We it's really good. don't really need to book guests anymore. It could just be you the whole time. That's right. That's <laughs> right. It's me. It just be me, and it would be Chad Wickboss. Man, that's what's going on. <laughs> we'll play everybody in Hollywood. That's what we will do, my man. Well, I look forward <laughs> to seeing this uh, this movie. It's called it's called Unsane. Unsane. It opens in theaters on March 23rd. Jay Farrow, everybody. If you like that video, click subscribe and we'll be together until one of us dies.